in this bulletin. Extra vaccine doses and COVID-19 disaster payment changes for New South Wales as the state records its highest daily case increase of this outbreak. The UN Security Council condemns the assassination of the Haitian president. And in tennis, former world number one Naomi Osaka is encouraging girls around the world to embrace their differences. With the latest SBS News, I'm Stephanie Corsetti. New South Wales has recorded 38 new local cases of COVID-19, the highest daily increase this year. 11 of the cases were infectious while in the community, prompting authorities to reinforce the need for people to stay at home. Premier Gladys Berejiklian says too many people are still out and about, visiting friends and family in their homes. The data shows in the last few days that is how the virus is spreading and the saddest message out of all of that, the saddest message out of all of that, is that people with the virus are passing it on to those they love most. We're seeing the greatest number of people get the virus in the last few days being household contacts. Parents, children getting it, uh, grandparents, extended family members. And New South Wales Police have announced they'll deploy additional members to southwestern Sydney to ensure the community is complying with the lockdown restrictions. Prime Minister Scott Morrison has announced new financial support measures for people affected by the lockdown in Sydney. The federal government will waive the $10,000 liquid assets test for those who have been in lockdown for more than a fortnight. The government will also extend the mutual obligation waiver for those receiving welfare support. Mr Morrison says 300,000 extra vaccine doses will also be sent to New South Wales, targeted towards southwestern Sydney. In that area, I note, uh, from the more, most recent figures we have, uh, in the three local government areas most particularly affected, um, you have first dose vaccination rates uh, of, for over 70s of between 48 and 51 per cent. And so we would also be encouraging um, uh, the 8 to 12 week second dose to be done at the earlier part of that 8 to 12 week period. Um, that is consistent with medical advice. The Australian Medical Association says New South Wales must remain in lockdown until the virus is eliminated or the consequences will be disastrous for the whole of Australia. The AMA president, Dr Omar Korshid, says tighter restrictions on community movement should be considered. Well, there is a question about whether there should be uh, more restrictions put in place during the lockdown. Uh, I think uh, it would be acknowledged that there have been more cases in the community than they were expecting at this stage, uh, almost two weeks into the lockdown. Uh, And there may need to be tighter restrictions on community movement in order to to squash that down. And the AMA would certainly support that if it means limiting the duration of the lockdown, uh, because of course if we don't get on top of it, the lockdown will have to be extended. The United Nations Security Council has condemned the assassination of Haiti's president, Jovenel Moez. President Moez was shot dead in an attack on his private residence, with his wife also injured and taken to hospital. Haiti police say they've killed four suspects and arrested two others hours after the assassination. In a statement, the 15-member council urged all parties to remain calm, exercise restraint and avoid any acts that would contribute to further instability. It also called for the perpetrators to be brought to justice. In tennis, former world number one Naomi Osaka is encouraging girls around the world to embrace their differences. The 23-year-old who plays for Japan admits she does not fit the mould of what an Olympian should be. Osaka withdrew from the French Open and Wimbledon on mental health grounds recently. She refused to participate in media interviews at this year's Roland Garros. And now for a look at tomorrow's weather. Perth, showers and a possible storm, 19 degrees. Adelaide, partly cloudy, 15. Melbourne, much the same, 14. Hobart, mostly sunny, 11 degrees. Canberra, a shower or two and 12. Wollongong, rain at times, 17. Sydney, similar conditions, 15. Newcastle, also 15 degrees. Brisbane, rain tending to showers, 20. Cairns, partly cloudy, 28. And Darwin, mostly sunny, 32. I'm Stephanie Corsetti, SBS News.